Hey, I figured it's been a long time since I commenced the podcast with something a little bit more joyful, a little bit something more spiritful, a little bit more spiteful. So with that being said, I'm going to take it back to the to the old days, to the 1990s when we had the good old Oprah show. You might be familiar with this beat, but if it's not, then if you're not, then okay. My name is JT. Welcome to the People's Paradise Podcast. Thank you for tuning into the podcast. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Um, first off, I want to thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. I want to thank you so much for pressing the like button. I want to thank you so much for pressing the subscribe button. I want to thank you so much for enjoying your boy. It's always great to know that I got people on this podcast who are feeling the message right now. I'm at my university right now, just kicking off in the um, group study room, enjoying my day. Let's hop right into it. Um, today... We're actually going to do a little bit different today. Today we're actually going to have like a little questionnaire thing going on. Today I decided not to have a show segment for you guys. In fact, today I decided I wanted to try and do a... Uh, try, I wanted to try and do something a little bit more... Um, like more interactive. I want to actually do like a little 2173 questionnaire with you guys. So, I got a list of questions I'm going to ask you guys. I want you guys to respond to me. Be it on this podcast, be it on this Facebook, be it on my um, on my Periscope, be it on any other any other social any other social media channel that I have, I want you to respond to these questions on. We can have the conversation there, and I can see what you guys think. I want to try to get to understand my audience a little bit more. I want to try to get to understand you. I want to get to a point where me and you have a connection, where me and you is tight, tight. And with that being said, let's start the show. So, first question. What's your image of a perfect mate? Me personally, my perfect image of a perfect mate is... It could be based on a lot of things. My image of the perfect mate is probably somebody who's... um, very adventurous. I love women. I love girls who are hella adventurous, who like to go travel different places, be it the mountains, be it the snow, just any other world in the world. I also love women who have long hair. I'm talking about that hair that just flows in the wind, and they turn and look at you, and it's like a scene from Pocahontas. Um, I say intelligent, adventurous, very determined, very ambitious, because I'm very ambitious, you know, if you don't know yet. You know, I'm very ambitious. You know, I like to go after and chase after my dreams, so. That probably would be somebody who fits the perfect ideal that I have as a mate. Somebody who's ambitious, intelligent, long hair. Um, I love athletic athletic women. I love a woman who's very athletic. So uh, that too. So that's my idea of a perfect mate. Now, if I was gay, if I was gay, my perfect mate would be anything that happened to look like um, Orlando Bloom. Uh, that that be my options. So that's one. That's what that's the list of who my perfect mate would be. And I want you to tell me who your perfect mate would be. And you can comment your response on my Twitter, on my SoundCloud, on my Spreaker, on my iTunes, or you can tweet me at JT's Boldest Dream. That's J T S B O L D E S T D R E A M. And you can message me on my Instagram and we can have the conversation there. Or you can message me on my Facebook at Dream for You Publishings. So either way, we have so many different channels where you can communicate me communicate with me at. Um that's question one. What is the image of your perfect mate? Tweet me that. Next one. What is your favorite superhero? My favorite, my favorite superhero. Um, my favorite superhero. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a high one. My favorite super, my favorite superhero is um, so hard, man. My favorite superhero in itself is probably 
it's a you know what I'm gonna say it's a toss up between Martian Manhunter and it's a toss up between Martian Manhunter and it's a toss up between um that's it I guess Martian Manhunter that's the only one I can think of I like Martian Manhunter because he was so he was so opportune for any situation you know he could shape shift he had super strength like Superman he could use telepathic powers like Professor Xavier from X Men like he was. He was totally equipped for every single moment you could put him in. So there was no unoper- there was no situation that you could put him in where he wouldn't be able to handle himself. I didn't like that he didn't have. The only thing I didn't like about him was he didn't have a personality. He had no personality at all. He was like hella dry. He was like that one. Everybody got that one kid in school who's like hella smarter than everybody else. He's so smart he has no emotion at all. This motherfucker just getting A's and B's just constantly. He's just literally showing up to school just to show how stupid everybody else is. So I always like Martian Manhunter for that. And once again, who was your favorite superhero? If you have a favorite superhero and I don't know, comment and let me know on any of my links. And let's see what else we have. Next question. This next question is only to the women. Logan Paul or Justin Bieber? Hmm. In my opinion, I ain't gonna lie to you. Probably good. No, 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 that's a hard one. If it was just off of success, once again, this is no homo. But if I was, if I did swing that way, if I did swing on the side of the fence, um, it probably would swing with Justin Bieber. I mean, I mean, just on a career financial level, Justin Bieber is on a totally different, totally different level. And then when you can put a Logan Paul, Logan Paul is a good looking guy. I mean. He looks very androgynous, and I don't really like that in my man. I mean, no homo again, but if I did have to swing that way, it probably would go Justin Bieber. But once again, I want to hear your response. It's not about my response. It's your response, so I want to hear what you got to say. Next question. Um, Brad Pitt or Will Smith? Um, That's a hard one. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I go with, you know what? It'd probably go with Will. Will Smith would probably be the better the better choice in that scenario. Will Smith's way more careerly successful. Brad Pitt's a very attractive man, but I don't think that would go with that well. I think it'd probably be better to go with Will Smith in that scenario. Okay. Oh well. Next question. See. I gotta get better at making questions, man. My questions have been my questions have been a little bit more drier than they used to be. So uh let's go with the next one. D C comics or Marvel? DC Comics all the way. But then it depends. Then it depends. Because I'm DC Comics for the characters. For the I'm DC Comics for the cartoon shows. I'm DC Comics for the TV shows. I'm DC Comics for the comic books. But I'm Marvel for the movies. Marvel makes great live action movies. Um, I don't think DC Comics has that talent. You know, you've heard me say in this podcast... You've heard me say in this podcast a thousand times. I don't think, I don't think, bro. I don't really. I don't think DC Comics has a terrible movie making team because all their movies have sucked in the last four to five years, from Green Lantern to to uh, Batman versus Superman. And that Justice League movie looked like it's going to suck. Suicide Squad, I haven't even seen it yet, and my heart already tells me that it sucks. So it it it's all it's, it's all relative, man. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, anyway, Cheetos or Fritos? <sighs> I'm gonna go Frito. I'm gonna go Cheetos, man. Cheetos are, bro. You can't knock Cheetos, man. Cheetos are Cheetos. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say because I don't. I don't really think black people eat Fritos. I don't really think black people eat Fritos, but like I don't think that's really a thing in our community. But I'll go with Cheetos. Cheetos is better for me. I like Cheetos. You might like Fritos. You might like Cheetos. You know, either or. But it depends what you like, and we're gonna see. Now let's go to the next question. And once again, respond to all these questions on my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You already know. You already know. I've repeated that to you a thousand times. You already know. Um, Biggie or Tupac. Ooh, that's a bad one, hard one. Motherfucker's asking me the goddamn life or death questions. I'm going to go with... 
I'm going to go with probably Tupac. I think Tupac would be better. I like Tupac better. I like Tupac better because, I don't know. Biggie was a genius. Don't get me wrong. Biggie, the Notorious B.I.G. was a genius when it comes to rapping. He was one of the goats when it comes to... He was a genius, but you can't knock the talent of Tupac. Tupac was amazing, amazing, amazing lyricist. Amazing. Tupac was amazing. Like, I love Tupac. Uh, but... I don't know. I think Tupac. I think Tupac. I think Tupac was more prophetic. I think Tupac was more prophetic. I think Tupac was more of a connected with the community. I feel like Tupac connected with people with their soul, with their background. Biggie was from the hood, and he was the real type of dude. But I don't feel like Biggie was really. Biggie was more of a rap genius, but I don't really think he was trying to rap for the hood. I think he was just a person from the. Hood. Tupac was trying to rap not only for the hood but for the people. Tupac was trying to talk to black people around the world, so you got to give him credit for that. So uh, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give it up to Tupac on that one. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Flying, off top flying. I would want to fly so bad, bro. You got to imagine how would it, how would it be to fly in the sky high above everybody else and have fun doing, bro. Fly, fly, off top fly. Not even a quote, fly. It could be a debate between flight and super strength, but I would not nah, go with flying. I would want to fly. I've always wanted to fly since I was a little kid. I was always that weird. I was that growing up. I was always that weird kid that would climb into trees and climb into houses and jump off roofs and stuff like that. So naturally, I'm going to go with flying. Let's see, Doctor Pepper or Pepsi? I don't drink either, so that's a bad question. Who the hell made all these damn questions? Terrible questions. Oh, uh, Susan, I'm watching this video I did from my from my friend in Brazil. Shout out to her. Shout out to Mariana. Um, let's see. Anyway, go to the next one. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was freaking stupid. Um, so the, the video, I really need to learn how to dance better. But anyway, Chocolate World or Ice Cream Land? I might have to explain that one a little bit better. Okay. Imagine, would you rather live in a chocolate world or ice cream land? I would personally probably live in ice cream. Ah, that was our one. I'll probably do a chocolate world. Chocolate world sounds so much more fun. And chocolate world seems cooler. I don't know, ice cream. You know, ice cream land, ice cream land. Because if you live in chocolate world, you'd only be able to taste only so many different flavors of chocolate. But if you live in ice cream land, you'd be able to taste all different types of flavors of ice cream. So you get you run across dark chocolate ice cream and milk chocolate ice cream eventually. But you wouldn't find vanilla chocolate, milk chocolate, strawberry chocolate anywhere. You just have dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. But if you went to ice cream land, you'd have vanilla chocolate. I mean, you'd have vanilla ice cream. You'd have um, you'd have vanilla ice cream. You'd have strawberry ice cream. You'd have Rocky Road ice cream. You know, you'd have a lot of them. In fact, I remember when um, a few years ago, I made a list with my cousin about different ice cream worlds that you could go and enjoy in different worlds like Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I like this. Let me leave that alone. All right. 50 Cent or Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. I like Lil Wayne. I feel like Lil Wayne is more better. I feel like Lil Wayne was more talented lyrically. Okay. M&M's or Skittles? M&M's. Definitely. Without a doubt. Granted, I can't eat M and M's right now because I'm on my vegan thing, and you know M and M's have chocolate in it. But overall, I'm M and M's. Daffy Duck or Bugs Bunny? You know what was weird about that was when I was a kid, I always loved Bugs Bunny more, but I would lie and say I like Daffy Duck because I liked that Daffy Duck was an underdog. You know, I always felt bad for Daffy Duck that he was getting beat up and trashed all the time, and nobody said anything about it. Like I was just really messed up for me. Um, Jordans or loafers? Loafers. I, I hate Jordans. I don't hate Jordans, but I never got the fascination with them. I never got why people love Jordans so much. Do you think Beyonce is an alien? Yes. To be that talented, yes, she has to be an alien. Mustard or ketchup? Ketchup. Ketchup all the way. Although I ain't been eating ketchup in a while. I've been. You know, I had a weird breakfast this morning. I got up and ate crackers, tomatoes, and guacamole. 
Like, I really put no thought into it. Favorite type of food? Um, favorite type of food? It's hard to say because I go through phases with my food. It's hard to say, I mean, um, if I had to say one above all, I probably would say dark chocolate right now. Anything that's really sweet and tastes really good, I probably would have to go with. So I probably have to say dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is probably my favorite. I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is like the best I've ever had. Um, favorite comic. Favorite comic was the Sonic the Hedgehog series that they had for comic books. I don't know if they still produce it, but I know that as far as I know, that was my favorite one. I love that one. And I love that one more than the other one. Uh, favorite video game character. My favorite video game character overall, overall over everybody, would probably have to be, um, would probably have to be, um, um, you know, I could say Sonic the Hedgehog because, you know, I have such a deep fascination with Sonic the Hedgehog, but, um, I would have to say, um, in my own wacky way, It'd be between Sonic the Hedgehog and Kirby. I always like Kirby. Uh, favorite talent. My favorite talent. My favorite talent in the world. My favorite talent. Something that I really admire that somebody can do. My favorite talent. If I had to name one, it probably would be the talent to... Um, it probably would be, if I had to have a favorite talent, my favorite talent would probably be the ability to, um, you know what, um, if I had to say a favorite talent, my favorite talent that I've seen people do, I don't know, because I think it's all relative. You know, I was about to say the ability to sing, but I think anybody can learn how to sing. You know, in fact, I think I think singing is not a really unique ability in itself. Mm. I feel like everybody can learn how to sing, and I don't know. Just I don't never really saw I never really saw like artistic talents as things that people can do that's so amazing. Because you know, I come from an artistic family. You know, my grandmother's a singer and a musician. Um, a lot of my cousins are singers. A lot of my aunts are singers. Uh, my father's a, um, a salesman. My grandmother was a linguist. So. Talent isn't really something that's rare in my family, so I've never saw somebody doing something that's that extraordinary and that out of this world that nobody can do it. Like, I just never saw it like that. My favorite superhero. My favorite superhero, probably, if I had the name one, probably would have to be, um, probably would have to be, if I had the name one, I already, I already did that. I already did my favorite superhero. Prettiest woman to you. The prettiest woman in the world to me. Once again, that goes into phases. But I can tell you right now. The woman who I think is the prettiest woman right now that I've seen recently. Is. I'm going to go to her. Is this woman right here. Let me see if I can find her page on Instagram. Okay. It's this woman named Nikki Perkins. And you can find her on Instagram at Jamie and Nix. That's J A M I and A N D N I K S. She is so beautiful. She is so beautiful. She is wow. It was like she's a Sudanese, very beautiful woman. She, her face literally looks like a doll. It's it's so man. She's married with a child. You know, God bless that, you know. I'm not going to pretend like I'm jealous or anything. I'm not going to pretend like I'm jealous or anything. I'm not going to pretend like I'm really upset that she's with somebody. I wanted you! But, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway. Let's see. What's the prettiest hair color? I think the prettiest hair color that I've seen, it kind of, I think the prettiest hair color always has to correspond with the skin color of the person that it's on. So I feel like the prettiest hair color that I know of is probably going to be, um, 
I love it when I see a woman who has very, very dark hair, like midnight color, the midnight sky black hair, but with pale marble smooth skin. I love that contrast. Like, it, not like to where it's like a vampire, you know, God forbid, no. But when it's like, when it's dark and the skin's pale, when it's really pretty, like, I like that. Very, very pretty. It looks very exotic. Do you like hot dogs? No. And it was funny because I grew up poor, so I used to eat hot dogs all the time. But now I don't eat hot dogs anymore. Now I'm more whatever. And last but not least, if you could go travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? If I could go anywhere in the world, I would go to where you live. Because I want to thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. I want to thank you so much for giving me your attention. And, you know, just enjoying your boy, you know. Because I get lonely sometimes. I ain't going to lie. Sometimes thugs get lonely. And we want attention. And we want people to talk to. And I really don't know what I would do without you in this world. Because I love you, man. I love you. I love you so much. Yeah, but in all seriousness. No, but in all seriousness. Um. Yeah, it's probably that I'm, um, it's probably, I probably go to, probably go to Tahiti. I've wanted to go to Tahiti for a long time, or, you know what, I'd probably go to Brazil. I would probably go to Brazil. I'd probably go to Brazil because I've never went there yet, and I have, I have, I have so many friends in Brazil right now, I really want to go hang out with them, but it's just, uh, money, 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 I don't got. But that's it. That's it for the question there. And let's see. What else we got going on today? That's pretty it. The question there pretty much took up most of the time. So anyway, those are all my questions. I want you guys to respond to the questions. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I want you guys to tell me what you guys think. I want to hear you guys' opinion. I want to connect with you guys. I want to have a good, want to have a good conversation with you guys. I'm really interested in talking with the people of the People's Paradise Podcast. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And with that being said, shall we close the podcast down? Shall we close this podcast and go into a new feeling of the world? Shall we close it down? Yeah, we'll close it down. Yes, shall we close it down? Yes, we shall close it down. Thank you for tuning into the podcast. I'm going to clean out this podcast by playing my favorite song of the weekend. Let's get my let's get my song put my earphones in so people don't hear me. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Make sure you like this spot. Make sure you like the podcast. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share it on your website and let people know about me. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Oh, oh, damn it.